hello everyone in this lecture we are going to talk a little bit about card flipping so i'll be demonstrating the entire exercise in gnu octave uh, if you are not familiar with gnu octave you can look it up uh, it is a very good alternative for matlab uh, those who do not have access to matlab license they can uh, use gnu octave uh, for basic scientific computations another good alternative is scilab but here i will be demonstrating using gnu octave now we have this data uh, which is the heat capacity of benzene and its variation with temperature so we have uh, the temperature column uh, for different temperature values we have the corresponding heat capacities of benzene now our uh, target is to fit this data and obtain the best fit plot for this purpose we will be using the polyfit and polyval function i write it down polyfit and polyval so how are we going to go about it let's see so our first task is to enter the different arrays now i have already uh, set the arrays for temperature and the heat capacities that are essentially the experimental data let's see how they look like on a plot so i want to plot uh, p comma ct and uh, let me use uh, circles for the plot so it will be a scattered plot so this is what you see as the scattered plot on your x axis you have the temperature and on the y axis you have the heat capacity if you want you can put the x labels and y labels for the axis so for the x label which is temperature and y label is the heat capacity c so you see automatically your graph should be updated so you have t and c p now to fit this data uh, on visualizing the data you can obviously make a guess that this should go best with the linear plot so uh, for more complex plotting uh, you can go for higher level of or rather higher degrees of polynomial fit since we have a fairly simple data we will go for a linear fit and to do that we will find the coefficients for the linear fit we will use polyfit function polyfit x data which is p y data which is cp and the degree of polynomial is 1 so uh, the first element of the p vector is essentially the slope and the second element is the y intercept of the fit now to generate the y fit values let me call it cp fitted we will use the polyval function polyval we are going to use p as the uh, main coefficients that we will be using we have just obtained it from polyfit and we will fit it for the p or x data so that gives us the cp fitted value now you can see cp fitted and cp experimental are fairly close to each other now let's see how the plot looks like so i'll go for a hold on option because i want to generate the fitted data plot on the same graph and then i'll simply plot p comma cp fitted this time i'll use a line to show the plot points and maybe I'll uh, put a legend. Uh, so the first legend was for experimental data, and the second legend is for fit data. Let's now visualize the plot. So you can see this is how your plot looks like. 
uh, as you can see this fit has given us the best fit for a linear plot there are only three outliers over here one two and three also this particular point can be considered an outlier or, although it touches very close with the fit for more advanced fitting features you can look into the various ways you can use polyfit and polygal functions you can also use other popular matlab functions in gnu octave for uh, performing curve fitting operations that is it uh, we'll see you again next time